As many of you know, I love history. Well, that's hard to believe. I love history, and so what we try to do is when the mission trip is over, I'm over in some other part of the world, I wanna learn some history. So I usually, you gotta fly somewhere to get back to Florida, so I fly to a different place every time to learn the history of that place. It's kind of one of those things I love doing. So we spend the last weekend kind of recompressing and learning a little. And so I usually, by the way, the last year I went to Paris. So we were in Europe when the Paris shootings occurred two weeks ago, but we were in Vienna. I hadn't been to Vienna and Elizabeth. So we went to Vienna. I wanted to learn about Central Europe and all those things that I don't know. I, I know Italy, Spain, France, and England. I don't know about Austria, Southern Germany, Hungary. So we went there. Well, discovered, and I knew this, but the big king or emperor was Franz Joseph. And they all got buried in the same place for 800 years, the Habsburgs. So, loving history, I want to go to the place they're buried, right? The crypt and the church. And so, I'm there at the church. And it's not the big church. The big church, the, the Notre Dame or the Westminster Abbey of uh, uh, Austria is St. Stephen's. And that's down the street. It's a little church. And I've shared this before, but I was right there the other day, and I want to share it today. When Franz Joseph died in the early 1900s, he'd been king for, or emperor for 80 years or so, long time, 60 years, I think. They did a processional through the city of Vienna, and at the front of the processional was a man walking with a big scepter. He's like the master of ceremonies. And they had a horse-drawn carriage, and it was literally about a million people lined up the city of Vienna, and they would walk through it and get to this church. A little church, very small, very plain, a plain door. The Austrians love these huge, big, massive doors. It was a little door, not so much bigger than a house door, but it was made of wood. And when he arrived there, it was closed. They wouldn't let him in. So he bangs with his big scepter. And inside is the abbot, the priest of the church. And he goes, who is it? And the master of ceremonies says, I am Franz Joseph, emperor of Austria, king of Hungary and Romania. And he lists about 11 countries he's king over, the dead man who's behind him. And he stops. And from inside, you hear this faint statement. We don't know you. And so the master of ceremonies beats his scepter on the door a second time. And they yell back, who is it? And he says, I am Franz Joseph. And he lists out all the secondary kingdoms he's the head of, the Balkan states and Croatia and all those things that he was also king over. He was an emperor. He was over about 20 countries. And he lists all those. And they yell back, we don't know you. And then a third time, the master of ceremonies beats his scepter, goes down on his knees, beats his scepter, and they say, who is it? And he says, I'm Franz Joseph, a poor sinner, humbling, humbly asking for forgiveness. At which time the abbot opens the doors and says, welcome in. It is a mental picture of salvation. It is not salvation, but it is a picture of salvation. It is a picture of we humbling ourselves before an almighty God and asking for mercy. And through Jesus Christ, mercy is given. And that is how we can walk through the storm. Let's pray together.